And now, we're on the last part of our topic for lesson 1, which is the basic of sensors. For the human senses, as we all know, we have five senses. We have sense of sight, sense of smell, sense of hearing, sense of touch, and sense of taste. Sensor converts the physical parameter, for example, temperature, blood pressure, humidity, speed, and many more, into a signal which can be measured electrically. Now let's explain the example of temperature. We have here the mercury or the thermometer. Inside the thermometer, we have the mercury, now which is in the glass of the thermometer that expands and contracts the liquid to convert the measured temperature, which can be read by a viewer on the calibrated glass tube. Now, here are examples of a sensor. We have temperature sensor, which is the thermometer, the one that we have in the previous slide. We also have ultrasonic sensor. We have light sensor, such as the LDR. We have IR sensor. We have touch sensor, which is the touch screen of a smartphone. And we have many more types of sensors. Now, classifications of sensor. We have digital sensor, that is sensor that gives output in either in high or low or digital signal. Usually, they have only two states or two voltage ending. We use digital pins of E5 to take input from the sensor. Example, the IR sensor. We also have the analog sensor, which is another classification of a sensor. Sensors that gives output in a given voltage range are known as analog sensors. We use analog pins of E5 to take input from the sensor. Example, we have light-dependent resistors. Digital pins of E5. We also have analog pins of E5. We also have light-dependent resistor. Light-dependent resistor is also known as LDR, in which a resistor whose resistance changes as the light falling on its changes. This property allows us to use them for making light sensing circuits. Resistance of the LDR decreases with increasing light intensity. So in other words, an LDR is a photoresistor in which that is sensitive to light. When light falls upon it, then the resistance changes. The values of the resistance of the LDR may change over many orders of magnitudes the value of the resistance falling as the level of light increases. Monitoring digital and analog pins Among the various options of E5 controls menu is a pin state monitor. This monitor displays the states or the values of all the pins, both digital and analog. The digital pin states, this option displays only the states of pins of the digital pins. An example would be, it shows only whether a pin is at zero or at number one. Monitoring digital and analog pins. Analog pin states, now this option shows what value does each analog pin have between zero and 1023.0 to 1023. It is actually a different way of representing the voltage values that the analog pins can have. Example would be 0 to 5 volts. Here, 0 volts means 0 and 5 volts mean 1023. Digital and analog states. Now, this option is also a combination of the previous two. It shows the states of both the digital and the analog pins. Visualizing LDR sensor. Now, you can observe that the sensor senses the intensity of light that falls on it and changes the resistance depending on it. Using this simple circuit, you can make a system that can be used to turn on and off the lights of the room. But to create this system, you require programming. Example would be writing a code or set a set of instructions to control the system. So that's it for this course on electronics for kids, level 1. I hope you learned a lot for this lesson. If you wish to continue, just proceed to the next course video. So, if you have any questions, 
feel free to drop me a message. Again, thank you for listening.